Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and I'm glad you stopped in. Subscribe and hit the like button. It's up to you. Um, on Thursday, a group of tourists traveling in the Amazon rainforest was taken hostage aboard a river boat by a tribe of indigenous people in the northernmost province of Peru, protesting the lack of government aid after recent oil spill. By the following day, the protesters began releasing them. Thank heavens. Uh, Watson uh, Trujillo, the leader of the Cunancio community, told a local radio outlet that they had taken hostage about 70 people, both foreigners and Peruvians, to get the government's attention. In reality, the number exceeded 240 people. The total number of hostages was later confirmed to be 248,228 of whom were Peruvian citizens. The tourists also included citizens from the United States, Spain, Great Britain, France, Switzerland. Local radio reported the hostages included an infant, pregnant women, the elderly and people with disabilities. The hostages spent the night inside the riverboat as it moored along the Moranian River while Trujillo awaited a response from the government. According to the captors, the hostages were held for between six to eight days until a deal is reached. They will be held six to eight days until the deal is reached. Wow. One of the hostages, Angela Ramirez, posted on her Facebook page that her captors are kind and respectful to the hostages and this was the only way they have found to look for solutions for the community. She said the quicker her captors hear from the government, the quicker they will let us go. She also urged her Facebook followers to share her post, adding that the hostages were physically fine. Trujillo said that the radical measurement measure was taken as a way to pressure the government to review the environmental damage caused after 2,358 tons ooh, of crude oil leaked into the Cunico River, and that's C-U-N-I-N-I-C-O, Cunico River. On Friday, it was reported that the hostages were all being released, but the circumstances on the ground were fluid. According to the USA Department, 10 Americans were among the hostages. Well, I hope all was returned safe, especially the expectant mothers and, and the baby and everyone. I hope they all came back good and safe and let's see what this one is oh there's always something going on somewhere that keeps us going I guess keeps our head full of news well now this one here I am not so sure I can do um, <clears throat> It's Biden, and he's kind of throwing a little tantrum or something here. Let me back up. Biden's true threat to 401k benefits. Forbes recently commissioned an independent study. They determined President Biden is not fighting for American workers or those on a fixed in. Just a minute. Maybe that has to come out some more. That should be fixed income, I'm sure. Let's see if I can get that a little bit. No? And those on fixed. In fact, he wants to pull the rug right out from under you. And end tax benefits for folks with IRA and 401k accounts. If you have retirement savings and you cannot afford to lose, then you should pay close attention. I gotta move my coffee cup here. I got it the road. Because the implications here could be catastrophic. 
catastrophic. You see, Biden wants to raise $3.3 trillion in new TA. I know there's more to this article, and it's cut off, and I don't know why. And I can't get it. Why is it like that? I don't know. You just have to space in your words. My sinuses are terrible. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh... He may be counting on your retirement accounts to whatever. And this is not for the first time he's found new ways uh, to tax everybody. After all, Social Security wasn't taxable until he voted for whatever. I can't understand why this is cut off, but anyway. And his vote for instrumental is leaving retirees with something or other. Let me see if I can't push this together. I don't know why it's done that. Let me see if I can straighten this out. I can't read something. I can't uh, finish the sentence. Uh, plus, he recently committed himself to a radical wealth of something or other. And uh, something already Dems are rushing his massive tech tax hikes through having a majority which is why most Americans who are retired or about to retire because they know President Biden's plan may be functional. I take that's what the word is. Now, if your IRA or your 401k of pension savings took a hit, you better cinch your belt real tight because expect other unlike any other. Expect changes unlike any other. I take it that's what it says. But here's the good news. You don't have to sit back and let the IRS freely access your nest egg. You can fight back right here uh, before Biden has his whatever and before the U.S. dollar collapses from the spending spree he's on. Boy, that's the truth. Well, that was a short thing to go, but it's good information, though, because uh, keep track of your 401k your savings, keep track of anything financial in your uh, interest. So, that's just about it. In other words, it's saying, beware. Alright. Well, that wasn't really good, but uh, it's alright. Now, let's see what this one is here. Another one about Biden. I'm so tired of him. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Biden just changed America's nuclear policy. Oh, my goodness. And I can read all of this one now. Since getting into the White House, Joe Biden has shown disturbing levels of subservience, subservience to other nations. Even worse, he does this at the expense of America's best interest. He's done that for the past... Two years almost. Maybe the first six months, I would say, we really wasn't attuned into his actions. But after that, we got wise, didn't we? Didn't take long. Not long after uh, Biden gutted America's Keystone XL pipeline, he cleared the way for Russian President Putin's beloved Nord Stream 2 pipeline to move forward. See, China and Russia. He, he, he's involved with them trying to uh, destroy us. We all know that. I've said it so many times before. On top of that, i got to move this in a little bit. I hope I don't lose my camera. It's just, uh, it's terrible. No, I don't want that. I want to bring that over a little bit. Well, this is not working. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's just uh, terrible. On top of that, the president allowed for oil from our nation's strategic, strategic, oh boy, here we go, kids. Strategic, strategic, nation's petroleum reserves <laughs> to end up in China's possession. 
It goes without saying that Chinese communists are not handing over their emergency supplies to America. Strategic. Whatever. However, a new measure taken by Biden is even more dangerous than most could anticipate. Oh, I think we've anticipated a lot. This measure involves changing our nation's nuclear policy. Another bad call from the Biden administration. In the update nuclear posture review, the president opt to remove a stipulation for our country's nuclear arsenal to exist as a safeguard against the unclear future. Now, why is he saying our uncle unclear future? He knows something. Mm-hmm. Something that we don't know. This stipulation ensured that our country held certain nuclear weaponry at the ready. It was strategically kept in place during the Trump administration. Though late last month, Biden had it removed. Oh, people. What can I tell you? During this quietly to presumably avoid the negative press he is now facing. This is yet another horrific foreign policy to decision by the president that has seriously ramifications. Ramifications. The updated nuclear posture reviews arrives at Russia, North Korea, and China are growing more openly aggressive against the West. These regimes are also making sure that they have as many nuclear weapons as possible at their disposal. Well, we're weak. I've already did a video on that and read so many articles. He sent all of our artillery and machines and everything over to the other country. And now we're weak. We couldn't do much to save us. If it ever come to that, for right now, it's so plain in front of our face. Why wasn't he taken out of office? Why are people in the, in the government just sitting back? What are they waiting for? For all this to come about? No words. No words. Through the U.S. Defense Department, under the Biden administration, it is already, already downplaying the severity of this update. The world is watching as Biden compromises America's national security interest and embarrasses us on the world stage. Other nations are watching. Well, sure they are. This goes for allies and enemies alike. Well, of course. Plain as day. And our Congress, and they're not doing anything. Never mind. Many people across country are longing for the days, long, longing for the days when we had a president who put America first. During the Trump administration, the former president consistently showed other nations that he meant business. Now, like I said in another video, two more years of this, Meanwhile, Biden shows more aggression against Trump supporters than he does toward autoromatic, autocratic, oh, A-U-T-O-C-R-A-T-I-C, autocratic foreign leaders making veiled threats against the West. In light of this, and the known business ties that Biden's family has overseas, including in China, many Americans worry his interests could be compromised. At this point, what happens next is anyone's guess. What did I just say? And the government is just sitting back. He should have been taken out of office when all this stuff started coming to view interview Biden and his son his contacts in the countries 
that want to do away with us and he's cuddling up to them and to hell with us. How much plainer can it be? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Do you? I really don't understand it. What's the matter with our government? I'll be back. God bless. And maybe if it's nighttime, your time now, maybe tomorrow, you could give somebody a blessing. And uh, if it's daytime, your time, or nighttime, your time, uh, maybe you can give somebody a blessing. I'm just flabbergasted. I'll be back.